as Explore Tulsa heads out to Ollie Station Restaurant. You missed your calling, Tris. <laughs> you would have made a great train conductor. You should think about just showing up at Ollie Station and every now and then you could just say, all aboard! How about I just stick to going to Ollie's for the food? Oh, there's awesome food here. <laughs> I always, when we get calls, I'm like, oh, it's like grandma food, you know, like right out of grandma's kitchen because it's just fried, fried, and fried. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. <laughs> Well, there were trains here before. Um, it burnt, the building burnt, and I believe it was 99. And they rebuilt it, you know, And but he added two. I mean, there were just a few trains, and now there's, I mean, you look all over the walls, I mean, up to the ceiling, and there's, there's trains. The owner is Joe Gilling. He really is a good, a good employer and he's really good with like the customers and the kids you know like want to always see the trains going so he's usually really good about making those things happen for them. He has like the little N-gauge which is the real small trains and then he has the HO which is called half of O which is a little bigger and then he has the uh, O gauge. It's come to be known as a train museum. I don't really know how that has kind of happened, but that's kind of just a, a thing that has come to be in recent you know, years. So it, I mean, it, it is, but it isn't. I mean, we have lots of memorabilia for sure. They styled it after a lot of the original trains that were ran in the 30s and the 40s and the 50s. And they, Lionel is probably the most noted one. Yes, there have actually been people that have come in and they've either worked for the railroad or a family member worked for the railroad or, you know, they've got this, you know, special like train engine or something and they, they give it and they're like, would you, we just like to see it displayed. And so that is really where I think maybe people have taken it to be a train museum because there's been so many people along the years that have just given stuff. For our regulars, we've got a large group that come in because they really like the breakfast, especially on the weekends, because we have a buffet, a breakfast buffet. Um, there's lots of people that like our chicken fried steak. You know, it's, it's really good. Our fried chicken is, I mean, we're known for that. And liver and onions cheeseburgers, I mean, really, our menu, it, there's really not one item on there that I don't think is really a favorite for several. I had a, a couple from Spain who, uh, you know, came in and, you know, they didn't understand, you know, the menu, and I'm like, we Okies love fried food. And so I always try to get people, especially if they're from another country, to have fried okra or fried green tomatoes because that's, you know, that's what we like here. And uh, it's usually kind of interesting because <laughs> they don't understand. I think it's more known now than it was before, for sure. Um, we have travelers all the way from Germany, Korea, I mean, that, that come in here and stop and it's, it's, uh, that's really a neat thing.